Alright, just wanted to make a real quick video how to program the uh, WLV929. It's really simple. Alright, go into um, of course I've already got the model named and everything, B929. Um, for type select, just go to heli and go to heli 2 and then hit menu to select that. I am running in mode 2. I'm not going to show you that part. Um, for reverses, aileron is going to be normal. Elevator will be reversed and throttle will be reversed. Um, rudder will be normal. Make sure you reverse that throttle before you turn it on. I made that mistake. And uh, it kind of went nuts. Um, throttle curve, just use the linear curve 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. There will be no pitch curve. I have no sub trims right now. Um, this, this part is important for this model for endpoints. Um, it makes it really fast if you crank it up to 100. I mean, this thing will haul. But what you want to do is go to... Uh, well, one of mine's messed up a little bit. There we go. Um, what's really pretty calm, it's nice and docile for uh, learning this thing. This is my very first quad, so... Um, for aileron, elevator, and rudder, put all of those at 40%. Um, Forty percent for the endpoints. Throttle... I just put... I put the bottom end down to 110 because I was having issues with the model. I don't know if anyone else will. I was having issues with, um... It was getting some kind of little throttle signal from the remote, and it would, like, barely spool up just a tiny bit um, when the remote was on. So I put it, you know, so I have more negative throttle, in a sense. So I put the, the bottom end... I'll show you the stick. When you move the stick up, it goes to the top end. Leave it on the bottom end. Take that down to like at least 110. You can do 120 on the bottom end where it's highlighted right now. Um, and then rudder, you want to keep it 40%. Or I think the highest you really want to go with rudder is about 60. Because once you start spinning really fast, these blades are, you know, turning on and off to get it to spin. So if you have it too high, like 100, 120, something ridiculous like that, it will start to rock back and forth and go forward and backwards and go a little bit out of control. So keep the rudder down, for sure. Even if you want elevator and aileron up to 100, that's fine. You can fly it like that. It'll do flips and all kind of weird, crazy stuff, which I haven't done yet. But you can tell it will. Um, that's it for that menu. I'll have... I have throttle hold programmed to uh, negative, negative 30%, so that's good. Swatch AFR, put pitch at zero, put aileron at 100, or you can do 60, whatever you're comfortable with. 100's good. And I have no trim or anything else, and that's really it for this model. Um, I'm sure you can play around with some stuff. Really, the most important thing to uh, to get this model to fly um, where it's self-stabilizing really well is you need to put it on, turn the remote on first, put the uh, the V99 on a a very level surface because when you plug that battery in, the gyro takes a little while on this model to dial in into this helicopter, to that gyro, whatever surface is on is level. So if you're on something uneven, 
and you go to take off, um, your trims will be way off because it thinks it thinks flying sideways is straight, if that makes sense. So make sure you you init you initialize the gyro on this little V929 on a really flat surface. I mean, make sure it's really level, at least the best you can. You can trim out a little bit, no problem, but it makes a huge difference. And that's it.